The fight against climate change is urgent. Extreme weather events are just one of the most visible consequences of climate change. However, drastic climate change is not inevitable and can be combated by investing in certain technologies. I'm Mike with List25, and here are 25 promising technologies to fight climate change. Twenty-five, Carbon Capture and Storage Carbon Capture and Storage, or CCS, is also sometimes known as Carbon Capture and Sequestration. Well, what is CCS? It's the process whereby carbon dioxide is captured before it enters the atmosphere and pollutes it to then be transported and stored. Carbon dioxide can then be kept in storage for hundreds or even thousands of years. CCS prevents emissions of carbon dioxide generated by large industries. 24. Electric Cars Electric cars, also sometimes known as all-electric cars or battery electric cars, have become increasingly popular in the last few years. And it's easy to see why. Electric cars have zero exhaust emissions and are quieter than cars fueled by gas, which also contributes to reducing noise pollution. This type of vehicle needs to be charged, and this can be done in public areas or in a house where a charging station has been previously installed. 23. Electric Trains Well, speaking of electric, when it comes to mass transportation, a cleaner alternative to traditional systems is electric trains or locomotives. Instead of gas turbines or diesel engines, electric trains are powered by, well, electricity. Shocking. The electricity that electric trains use can come from different sources, such as batteries, uh, a third rail, also known as a conductor or a live rail, or overhead electricity lines. 22. Hydrogen. Hydrogen is the most plentiful chemical element that exists, and it's found in molecules of all living things on Earth, animals, human beings, plants, and also in water. The production of hydrogen comes from different natural resources, including biogas, gas produced from animal manure, solar and wind renewable power, natural gas, and nuclear power. Hydrogen is considered a climate-friendly alternative to methane, natural gas. More needs to be done to harness larger quantities of hydrogen for fuel, though. 21. Building Automation Systems what is an automation system? Any mechanical system that works with little or no human intervention is an automation system. Typically, automation is achieved with sensors or controls. Automation systems can be used in a wide variety of industries and be highly efficient, flexible, and effective. 20. Thermostats Smart thermostats provide valuable information on energy usage and can thus contribute to cutting energy costs and reducing energy waste. In the long run, the usage of thermostats and the information they provide can save money for businesses and households while also contributing to fighting climate change. 19. Insulation Materials one of the best ways to make buildings energy efficient is by using insulation materials in construction such as fiberglass, mineral wool, cellulose, and natural fibers, among others. Well-insulated buildings and homes are better places to inhabit for human beings, as they help to keep temperatures comfortable, but also prevent excessive emissions. 18. High-Performance Glass Traditionally, the type of glass used in buildings could cause overheating indoors. However, the three kinds of high-performance glass, low-E glass, solar control glass, and solar low-E glass, deliver thermal insulation, which in turn improves energy efficiency. 17. Solar Cookstoves Cookstoves that run on solar energy are typically used in isolated communities with no access to electric grids. Solar cookstoves run on power from solar panels that have been stored in batteries. They're a practical solution, both in terms of saving energy and using renewable power. 16. LED Lighting Using LED lighting is a no-brainer, because as well as using at least 75% less energy than other forms of electric lighting, it also lasts up to 25 times longer, and we at this channel love things that are 25. 
In contrast to traditional incandescent lighting, which tends to be, you know, dimmer while using a lot of energy, LED light bulbs create a lot of light just by using a small portion of that same energy. 15. Efficient motors. Energy efficient motors, or EEMs, consume less power than conventional motors. In its report, the World Economic Forum's Climate Trade Zero Initiative recommends using efficient motors internationally rated three or higher. 14. Meat Alternatives Plant-based and lab-grown meat alternatives for human consumption can reduce the environmental impact of the meat industry. And you know what? They don't taste all that bad either. The Impossible Burger? I really like. So if you haven't, give it a try. 13. Waste to energy systems. Burning waste to produce heat and electricity reduces carbon dioxide emissions while also getting rid of waste from landfills. Waste to energy solutions are an advanced method to generate energy while disposing of waste and also reduce the emissions of greenhouse gases. Waste to energy systems are considered a useful transition solution. 12. High efficiency heat pumps. Heat pumps save more energy than furnaces and air conditioners while providing the same service. A high efficiency heat pump will make a house cooler in summer and warmer in winter by moving heat from the outdoors into the house. As such, they're a climate friendly alternative to heaters and AC units. 11. Biogas Stoves Biogas, also known as gobar gas, is produced by animal manure. Stoves fueled by biogas are more energy efficient than traditional stoves. The good news is that existing stoves can be easily modified to become suitable for biogas. Biogas stoves are already in use in some isolated areas of third world countries. 10. Tidal Systems Electricity and other forms of power can be generated from tides during their rise and fall. This is known as tidal power or tidal energy. Tidal energy is one of the main sources of renewable energy. It's obtained from the ocean using special generators that turn the energy produced by the surge of water into electricity. 9. Small Hydropower Small hydropower, also known as small hydro, consists of projects usually built in off-the-grid isolated areas to produce enough energy to serve the local community. The term small hydropower is flexible and can encompass between 10 and 30 megawatts. In some countries, a small hydro can produce considerably larger amounts of electricity. In the US, the National Hydropower Association establishes five megawatts as the minimum limit, but up to 50 is usually also considered small. This is also the case in other large industrial nations such as Canada and China. Small hydropower is particularly popular in Asia. In China, for example, small hydropower is used to provide electricity to isolated rural areas. But this solution is also suitable for countries in Africa and the Americas. 8. Geothermal A climate-friendly source of energy is the thermal energy that originated in our planet's crust. This is what is known as geothermal energy. Well, how is geothermal energy created, you may be asking? It comes from both the formation of our planet and from radioactive decay. Its use by humans goes back to the Paleolithic when it was used for bathing in warm water, and you know, much later, Romans also used it as a source for heating indoor spaces. Advanced technology has made the generation of electricity from thermal energy more easily exploited, but we are currently only using a small portion of it. 7. Biomass Renewable organic material that comes from plants or animals is known as biomass. Biomass can be obtained from wood, crops, solid waste, and animal manure, among other sources. Although this may not sound like the most <laughs> pleasant energy source, it is efficient and climate friendly. So what can biomass be used for? It can be used as fuel for practical domestic uses, such as heating or cooking. Six. Concentrated Solar Power Concentrated Solar Power, or CSP, is a system that can generate energy from sunlight by using lenses or mirrors to concentrate light and then convert it into heat. Once sunlight is converted to heat, a heat engine connected to a steam turbine, or another kind of heat engine connected to a power generator, converts it to electricity.
5. Distributed Solar PV Distributed solar photovoltaics means rooftop solar panels that can be connected through a grid or, you know, be standalone. Without getting too technical, there are different types of solar PV systems that store and distribute this renewable energy. The main difference between them is that most have battery storage, while others don't. 4. Utility Scale PV Out of different technologies to generate energy through solar power, utility scale is the best option because it produces energy at a much larger scale. I'm talking about large plants of huge solar panels as opposed to smaller rooftop solar panels. I wonder where that Mickey Mouse solar panel field just northwest of Epcot, what's that considered? Three, offshore wind power. Generating electricity through wind farms located at sea is the top three technology to fight climate change. Although usually offshore wind power farms are installed at sea, they can also be built in other large bodies of water. Two, onshore wind power. When it comes to renewable energy and energy efficiency, the focus should be on building onshore wind power turbines in suitable areas. Usually onshore wind power plants are built in unpopulated areas with minimal negative environmental impact, i.e. areas with low conservation value. This avoids harming local fauna and flora, mostly birds. 1. Alternative Refrigerants Coming in at number one, investing in replacing hydrofluorocarbon or HFC refrigerants until they are completely phased out should be a priority. Instead, the usage of alternative refrigerants will have a positive impact on reducing carbon dioxide emissions. The great news is that not only is the use of alternative refrigerants good for the environment, but they're also more affordable and more efficient than HFC refrigerants. So, what are some other things that we could all do to help combat climate change? Because, you know, yeah, are we trying to terraform other planets? Probably, but this is still, for now, the only Earth we have. So, let's take care of it. Alright guys, uh, let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, share, comment, subscribe, click that notification bell so you don't miss out on any new material, including shorts, Join the Discord with Discord Discord. This is the end card joining the Discord. Anyway, join. We got a few people in there. It's slowly growing. And uh, if you can, become a member. Help support the channel. Every little bit helps, keeps us going to edutain you guys. And as always, see you later. Enjoying our lists? Be sure to click that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Share them with your friends and help us consistently conciliate curiosity. And if you want even more lists, check out these videos here or just head to our website at list25.com.